Welcome to Bible Understanding Made Easy, a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ in Gadsden, Alabama. Our scripture is taken from James, the second chapter, verse 20 to verse 24, and it will be read from the King James Version of the Bible. The Bible says, But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Seest thou how faith wrought with his works, and by works was faith made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled which saith, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. You see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Again, that's James chapter 2, verse 20 to 24 out of the King James Version of the Bible. In order to understand the message today, we have to go back and review some of Abraham's history in order to apply it to our everyday lives. As most Christians know, Abraham is a very famous character in the Bible for good reason. He is captured in Hebrews chapter 11, which we nickname as the Hall of Fame of Faith. We know that two very significant events in his life put him on the biblical map, if you will. The first being his call to leave his homeland of Ur of the Chaldeans to walk around the land of Canaan, and he did not even know where he was going. He just received the command from God and blindly followed the commandment. The other event that put his name on the map is that he was willing to sacrifice his son Isaac on the altar as a test from God. God himself had to stop him from doing so. His faith was so enormous at the time that he thought God would raise Isaac from the dead, when in fact no one had risen from the dead yet in mankind's history from Adam. Thus he was a true pioneer of faith. Today, we are called to imitate both Abraham's faith and obedience as modern-day Christians by God's word. In fact, if we do, then God calls us Abraham's seeds, meaning sons of Abraham. This brings us to the question, why was Abraham a friend to God? Let's look a little closer regarding why God called Abraham his friend in order to make sure we are God's friend as well in imitation of Abraham's deeds. Notice that when God told Abraham to move, he did so. He had enough faith in the promises of God that he made it all the way to Canaan as the Lord had promised. Also along the way, just like we do today, he experienced many hardships before the promise of God came true for him. You have to realize that along the way, famine hit. His father Terah died while along the way, and his herdmen fought with the herdmen of his nephew Lot, and so on. However, he still made it to Canaan, as God had said, despite all of these difficulties along the way. We learn from this that we must realize that all of this was major change experienced by Abraham. As you can see, God wants us to change in many ways in order to truly be his friend. This may take radical change in our lives to get us in a spiritual condition where we can please God. Of course, spiritual change is a must, and this is why God constantly calls us to work on our Christian character and to repent, that is, turn back to him when we do wrong. You see, sometimes we have to realize our circumstances in life cause change we did not ask for. But God still wants us to be faithful unto death, just like Abraham. Sometimes our circumstances cause us to lose a family member. But God still wants us to stay faithful to death, just like Abraham. Sometimes we're going to have family disputes. But God wants us to still be faithful, just like Abraham. 
And sometimes we must realize that we have to leave family and friends in order to cling to God, to be faithful to the Lord, just like Abraham did. This brings us to another major point that will encourage us as Christians and children of God. We all must realize that Abraham, as good a man as he was and as proud as God was of him, he still made mistakes along his journey. Abraham's life is always inspiring because the Bible shows that God can work with imperfect people who are trying to do the right thing, but make some mistakes along the way. For example, uh, during his journey, Abraham lied about Sarah being his sister and not his wife, when in fact she was both of them. And he did that in order to save his neck because he knew that Sarah was such a beautiful woman that somebody would have killed him in order to take her. So he lied about her being his sister only and not his wife. Remember even David, if you remember this biblical character, he was a man that actually stole a man's wife and had the man killed as well. But even after all of this, God still called him a man after his own heart. Even more, we'll find out that one of the greatest names in the Bible being the Apostle Peter. He denied his relationship with the Lord three times in order to save his neck. But still, at the end of all things, God still used him to preach many portions of the Bible and declare the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for mankind's salvation. He could have gave up on Peter. But Peter, after a while, grew to the point that even when he threatened with beatings, imprisonments, and things of that nature, he still was able to look the Sanhedrin, the Jewish leadership in the face, and tell them, I'd rather obey God than man. So in summary, what do we learn from Abraham and his story? So in conclusion, what made Abraham so special and a friend of God? First, he had the faith to believe in whatever God said, no matter what. Second, he obeyed the commandments of God no matter what personal cost he would experience in the process. Third, he was not afraid of change in his life when God calls for change. And lastly, he may have been an imperfect man like all of us are, but his commitment to the Lord calls the Lord to be pleased just like he will do to us when we turn back to him after we have sinned as well. Our challenge today is to imitate these qualities of Abraham so we too can be friends of God. Again, my friend, we thank you for going through this portion of Bible understanding made easy. And we find out what makes Abraham so special to God, which also will make us special to God. May God bless and keep you. The message is yours.